Hello and welcome to Joburg Today. My name is Dumi Lapo, bringing you the best of what's going down in and around Johannesburg. Limited space on city properties should not be the reason for Joburgers not to try their own hands at growing their own vegetables. Here are some tricks. A lack of space can discourage city dwellers to grow their own food. Jane Griffiths shared some secrets about how to create room from her book, Jane's Delicious Urban Gardening. Looking up or shipping in extra room. These are the two easiest and most affordable options when running out of horizontal gardening space. Vertical gardening involves vertical structures. James squash and butternut that they normally just take over. They ramble over the entire garden and by training them to grow up tripods like this I managed to reduce the space and then you've still got all the space around the base of the tripod to grow other vegetables. What do you need to do to make the best of your vertical garden? Don't make them too short. You can see how tall this is and I've actually added extensions of bamboo up here that go right the way up there and it's, it's easy enough. If it means that you get a ladder to come and harvest stuff, stuff that's fine. And there's a bit of maintenance. Gem squash will want to keep on trying to wind itself out of the tripod and head off over the garden. So you do have to keep on coming back in and winding it back and encouraging it to keep growing up the tripod. Make your support strong. These are sunk right into the ground. So you don't want the things growing all the way up and then falling over the minute the first wind blows. The main thing about tripods is installing any supports before you put the plants in the ground. Almost anything capable of holding soil and plants can double as makeshift gardens, especially in areas where conventional gardening is normally difficult. Just remember to make holes at the bottom for water drainage. You can see here in a, a very small amount of space what a wide variety of plants I've actually got growing. What I've, I've their, their lettuces, I've got celery, their peas, potatoes are growing in a bag there, some herbs are growing here. This is bok choy and tomato seedlings coming up and there's lettuces in, in the bottom there. Plus I've got companion plants of flowers coming up here as well. And the other advantage of this is, is that if you are renting and you don't want to invest or you can't install a garden, in a, a veggie garden where you are, you can just plant a garden for the season in a container. What does one need to do to have your plants grow happily in a container? Container mix is very important. You don't just want to go and dig up some garden soil. You need a mixture of something that is going to retain the moisture. So for example, in here you can see there's little flakes of this vermiculite. Mm -hmm. It swells up, retains water, slowly releases it. Plus, well sieved fertile compost mixed with some fertilis, that's the earthworm manure to bring in some nutrients. A little dash of some topsoil, maybe half a bucket or a bucket of topsoil to bring in some beneficial organisms and then slow release organic fertilizer. Now get those hands dirty and happy planting, Joburgers. Marisa de Klerk, Joburg Today. Like us on Facebook, JoburgToday.tv, and follow us on Twitter at Joburg Today. Innovation meets student accommodation with the Mills Junction transforming silos and containers for the even growing influx of students headed to the City of Gold for a brighter future. I like this place better because like from the outside it attracts you, you know, and then in the inside all the colours and everything, they also attract you. Um, it's very vibey, it's young, it's fresh. Um, yeah, I think that's why I like it a lot. It's, and it's comfortable, it's very comfortable. It's cool because we have everything we need here and then we're not struggling with anything. If you if you wanna do something on the computer labs, we do have computer labs here and we have a gym and all these things we need. Um, it's it's not scary or anything like that. Um, it's actually very safe because when there's wind, like you don't feel it. Because when you're outside, you kind of like get a bit, you know. But then, yeah, it's fine. I don't think they make us live in a place where, you know, it's not safe or anything. Oh, my room is nice, bra. It's nice and it accommodates me. I have space and all the space I need to study and all the stuff. And we also have study rooms here in this building. 
obviously the building i mean you can tell when you're on the bridge and you just look at the building that you know it's a different you don't you wouldn't think it's a, like a student accommodation but it's very different because we've got this you know when they say there's levels to this <laughs> but we've got different levels of different things and like you know the study and the computer room and everything like that that's proper the rooms are spacious and yeah like i said it's very comfortable i would it's got like a, a really nice academic environment and yeah you can study here it's safe and yeah it's, it's proper it's a proper place to live in built on nothing but innovation and creativity the silos and containers bring a new meaning to the phrase home away from home for students all over johannesburg giving them a very comfortable and affordable way to live i'm spio matabula for joburg today What's up, what's up? My name is Christopher Jafta and you are watching Joburg Today. That's all for today. For more on the city, do check out our playlist. From myself, Dumin Klapo and the Joburg Today crew, it's goodbye.